so here we have our duct tester running as a powered flow hood. And on the gauge, what we've done is we've set to zero. Uh, we'll show you how to, uh, how to do that in a minute. But uh, it's actually running right now. And it's measuring the flow out of this supply register in real time. We've got the flux duct attached to our large pressure pan. Comes down to the inlet of the duct tester. And we're measuring the flow here. And it's running around about 130 CFM. By powered flow hood, what I mean is that we're measuring the pressure up there and we're trying to set it to zero so we're not affecting the flow coming out of the register in any way. So I'll just show you how we're going to set that up here again just by turning this off. So we've got it turned off and I can feel some, now that the fan is slowed down. I can feel a little bit of warm air coming out of there and we have a pressure that's being felt up there. What the set to zero function will do is it will eliminate that pressure by setting whatever that pressure it is to zero. So all we do is we go set pressure zero enter and the fan starts up and keeps speeding up until this goes to zero. It's very important that we do not use the at pressure setting when we're setting to zero because we get a divide by zero error and everything goes crazy. But you notice that we're pretty close to zero now. We'll probably hover back and forth just a little bit. As the flow in the supply changes, this will also change. So we have nothing that we have to hold. We can just sit there and watch it and see how it performs. It's a great performance evaluation tool or research tool and there's nothing to hold. In a minute I'll show you how to get it up there. This is how we get the lengths of the poles right. We adjust them so there's roughly about a five degree angle. We lock them in position and then we pick up the entire hood being careful not to run into things with the, uh, the poles. These are just a standard painter pole. And lift the whole thing up in the air place it over our register and then push the poles on the ground and so they're pushing up. And that's quite solid. We've got our blue tube connected to that port and it's ready to go. This is a supply register so air is blowing down, blowing into the inlet of our fan and all we do on our fan is we go set pressure zero enter and once this reduces the pressure inside the pan down to zero we will have the exact flow rate coming out of the register and this is what's called a powered flow hood as the flow in the register changes as the flow out of the register changes then this airflow will change. It's on automatic control mode, so it's constantly trying to lower this pressure down to zero. If it goes to a minus pressure, then it will slow down a little bit. When it goes to a positive pressure, it speeds up. Then when we're done, we just press exit. And we'll notice that the pressure that's being accumulated behind our pressure pan is showing up right here. And we can still actually see the flow rate, but we've reduced the flow rate substantially by virtue of the fact that there's back pressure being created by that hood. So this eliminates the problem that you get with a normal flow hood, where the flow hood itself actually slows the flow down somewhat by the restriction of the hood itself. So. This way we're able to get the actual flow that will be coming out of that register in normal conditions. So having performed the field calibration check on the gauge, making sure it's working fine, we're now going to do a calibration check of the entire system, which is something you should do every month or so, just to make sure your system is still reading right. The fuel calibration plate that we have here is marked at 105 CFM and you can see that we're reading 104 CFM so we're very close to being, uh, to being right on. 
and uh, you, you can expect uh, three or four CFM variation uh, back and forth is still is fine.